Hey, everybody, it's coffee time. Uh, tonight, we're going to be joined by Stephanie Hewling. And she always has a good word from the Lord. She uh, is well read in the Bible, and Daniel is as well. I was reading um, the verse of the day this morning, then I usually try to read the chapter, and it was about Esther, and that is such a beautiful love story and a beautiful story of how God took this young girl and she literally was used to save her people. And, you know, she was, became the king's wife. It was really a good story. If, hey, Jeanette, um, if you ever want to read a beautiful love story, then you can find that in the Bible. You can find murder mysteries. You can find anything you want. Any kind of story you want is in the Bible. And Esther is just, uh, Stephanie is watching. Okay, Stephanie, you send me a friend request. There she goes. And I will approve it and send an invite, and she should be joining us. Well, anyway, it says we're adding her. But my grandfather told me when I was a little girl, he said, anytime you want to read any kind of mystery or whatever, you can find it in the Word of God. And he was right. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, I'm glad it worked today. You got out of work. I said, I'm glad that my join request worked. Oh, yeah, <laughs> me too. Yeah. Sorry, I look so crazy. I've been working in the chicken coop. Well, you're fine. Look at <laughs> I look like I'm still in one. So, um, I was reading this morning about Esther. You know, just re I just read the verse of the day, and then I read a little bit of the chapter, and uh, I thought that was pretty inspiring the story of Esther how God took one woman and women back then were so powerless you know yeah. and saved her nation she saved the the Jewish people hey Davy Davy's on there Davy we don't know why but I can't hear uh Stephanie without my Bluetooth and I can barely hear her, but I can hear her. I mean I'll just barely hear her tonight because I don't have my Bluetooth and I've got all my Bluetooth capabilities turned off, so it's not that. But what would you like to talk about tonight, Steph? Uh, I mean, whatever you, whatever you want to talk about, I'm good with. Um, yeah, I think Esther is very inspiring, and I think too there's a lot of uh, parallels to Esther um, that we have today. You know, we're in a um, I mean, we've got some, some government that we definitely know uh, are against God's people, not just the Jews, but the Christians for sure. And um, so, you know, I think that we have been brought to the kingdom for such a time as this. And I think that um, learning a lot from Esther, don't you think that if we we stand up for what is right that God will back us up just like he did Esther. I do. And you know, he could use, uh, it doesn't matter what status you are in life. God can use you no matter what. Yeah. Like he did Esther. That's true. That's true. And even though she was a little bit scared, I feel like, um, I know the Holy Spirit speaks to us today, but I definitely did through Mordecai by telling her, listen, God's going to deliver his people. And, um, but if you don't stand up for this, you are going to perish. And I feel like that's pretty relevant to us today. If we don't stand up for, um, what we know is right, we will 
uh, we will reap the consequences, whether it's for good or bad. Um, We will reap the consequences. And I feel like, uh, don't you feel like that that is, um, don't you feel like that God's calling us today to stand up for uh, what we know is right, stand up for um, marriage the way he designed it, and stand up for, um, you know, stand against some of this stuff that's the laws that are passing and um, stand against these laws that go against God's word. What do you think? Absolutely. And, you know, um, there's a lot of, I, I would say there are some preachers that will preach the truth. I don't know about them all. But, you know, the truth has to be told. Or they're going to be responsible for it. And so will we. When people ask us, you know, whatever world we're in, you know, you're in the world of children and you interact with children a lot and, and you know, your family and your church and all that. But wherever God has placed us in our life, we have to stand up for what is right, no matter what the cost. Yeah no matter what the cost because he he stood up for us and look what it cost him. Yeah. Yeah. That's so true. Um, I'm going to go out here on the porch cause I hear the TV going. Um, I think so because if we don't, here's what we do is, um, if we don't stand up for what's right and if we don't speak the truth, we do have to speak it in love, but we've got to speak the truth. I mean, it's not very loving to let somebody jump off a cliff just because we don't want to hurt their feelings. Um, and that's what we do sometimes when we don't, when we don't tell them the truth, when we don't say, Hey, this is against God's law. Um, you know, we're, no, I'm not okay with that. And I, I'll tell you, um, one instance that I had recently was, um, my, uh, my second daughter, uh, was on a cheerleading team and they played, they wanted them to dance to, uh, excerpt of a song that I thought was an oldie. Well, it wasn't. It was one of the new ones. And I looked up the lyrics to it, and it was the filthiest trash that I have ever. I mean, some of the filthiest lyrics. I would never let my kids listen to that. And so there was a group chat, and I just I had to say, no, I'm sorry. I'm not okay with this. My daughter can't dance to this song. And it offended quite a few. I mean, it offended a couple of the moms in a real bad way. And um, they were like, well, I'm excited to see our girls dance. Well, it wasn't that. I'm always, I always like to see the girls, you know, um, doing stuff. But... I want them to honor God in everything that they do. I'm not okay with, uh, you know, with using your talents and using um, what God's given you to honor the devil. And that's what we do. And I'm not. Corey Lester said, uh, if we, if we don't stand for nothing, we'll fall for anything. Or if we, if we stand for nothing, we'll fall for anything. You know, oh, true. we have to stand up. Corey, you're right. And I probably messed that up, but you know what I mean. That's <laughs> Michelle very cool. and, and Nikki and. <clears throat> well, compromising with sin is always wrong. And it is so difficult nowadays because nowadays it's like really serious. When you stand up against sin in public, you're going to be ridiculed. God only knows what will happen, but God yeah. will be with you. Yeah. I mean, if it, you just have 
to do what you got to do. Um, we, there's some people that need prayer tonight. Um, this lady I used to work with needs prayer. And Carl, Dorothy, um, Sheila, Kelly Brooks, and Beverly, um, Beverly, I'll just say Beverly. These okay. people are really need a touch from God. There's some of them have cancer. They're really sick. And uh, hello, Winona and Michelle. But we really need to uh, come to the Lord with prayer. When we do pray, I want y'all to know that we, we do pray over these names and we do trust that God will, we expect a miracle. We expect him to, to we hold him to his to word. Watch over his performance. That's right. That's right. And he will. And, you know, I was reading something the other day where the Lord was singing. I think, is, is it in Psalms where he sings over us? Uh, in Zephaniah. He he sings over us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. He say he um. Yeah, I'd have to I'd have to look that up, but yes, he does. And he, he I mean, he is for us, and um, and he he would not ha have written this word if he did not want us to take him at his word. He is not a man that he should lie, and um, and he does rejoice over us. I mean, he loves us, and how much more uh, parents love their kids today. I mean, I love my kids, and if they've got a need, I just, I honestly delight in meeting that need. I delight in it, and... Um, a lot of times we don't realize that if we've got a need, um, it's because God has a supply. And whether it's a need of um, financial need, whether it's a, a need of, you know, I've just opened a door and let the enemy in, or whether it's a need of the enemy's attacking me in my health or... Um, in my marriage or in an in another area in my emotions um whatever that need is god's got the supply he's already made provision uh for that need i mean everything that jesus did on the cross provided it all i mean it absolutely provided all it was a complete work and we're not we're not begging god to all of a sudden you know, Lord, I need $1,200 for rent or Lord, my kids need uh, shoes for school. It's not like God's got to get busy and, and try to supply that need. He's already got the supply. Um, so that should be comforting to us. I feel like that if we've got a need, God has got supply and he's not a man that he should lie he he you can take his word to the bank and you can stand on it and if we have a need in our body if we have a need to be healed you know a lot of people can believe god and i've been guilty of this for salvation yeah. that's yeah. wonderful yes we absolutely know nobody doubts that but, you know, and believing him for healing is sometimes so difficult. And that should not be because those stripes, by his stripes, we are healed. Yeah. There is a sickness unto death. But we don't ever know when that is. And we have to assume that God is going to heal us one way or the other. He will heal us. That's just the way it is. He cannot lie. He can't. He will keep his word. Yeah. Uh, he can't and and the yeah on that and I've got to do some studying on that but one thing I do know is it's the enemy that comes to steal kill and destroy 
God doesn't, that sickness is a tactic of the enemy. God doesn't work. He doesn't use those tactics. Um, he, he doesn't use that. Now he can work through it. Um, absolutely. Cause we know that he can work in all things and bring them for our good, but he is not the author of, of, of sickness. Um, he's not the author of, of if it's still kill and destroy, God's not the author of it. And a lot of times I believe Stephanie, that God will allow something to happen because it was meant to exercise our faith and it was meant to give him glory when he does, when he does keep his word, which he does keep his word, we know. But say, I've been watching a lot of um, CBN and I've been hearing testimonies about, well, I, you know, this one woman had cancer and they told her she needed to abort her baby and all this but God totally healed her and the baby was fine. And then it's just one miracle after another that, you know, they were put in circumstances to where they either believed God or they were going to die, right. you know, and every time God came through every time. Yeah. And a lot of times when God allows things, no, he doesn't bring sickness on us. I don't believe that either, but I believe sometimes when God allows things that is going to work together for our good and it's going to bring him glory. And a lot of times it's to exercise our faith because yeah. we, if we never had to ask God for healing, how would we know he really would do it? You know, or if we yeah. never had to ask him to supply our need, how would we know? Mm -hmm. You know, these situations that we find ourselves in and we think, oh, this is awful. Well, you know what? God has allowed that for such a time as it is to where he can show his power and mm -hmm. his keep his word. I mean, I have seen God keep his word when, whoa, you know, you can, you can bring his word to his remembrance. Yeah, you can. And oh, you sure that works. speak that word out and you know that it's got power. I mean, yes. it is the only word that that's got power and God watches over it to perform it. And absolutely. I mean, the plans, just like you're talking about es Esther, the plans of Haman to destroy the Jews and, and tricking the king to do that. Yeah, it, it, you know, that did pass through God's hands, but also he, I mean, that just think, you know, if Esther hadn't have risen up, what would have been lost, but also, um, how much that built her faith and the faith of her descendants. Um, yeah, I mean, you're brought to the kingdom for such a time as this and, and we've got to, I think, remind ourselves, don't you? And it takes other people around us to remind us, hey, God's on your side. He's with you. Um, we've read the back of the book. We know that we win because we're on the right side. And this is just a um, light momentary affliction. It's a temporary. It really is. We have to remind it when, when we're going through a valley. And our friends are like, well, I don't know what they've done, but look what's, you know, what's going on in their life. Right. That is what happened to um, Job. Yeah. And, you know, instead of encouraging him and say, Job, we, we know that you've not sinned against God, but, you know, uh, we're going through some hell on earth, right. basically, is what he was going through. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but, but we have to encourage one another. We have to pray for one another. These people that are sick that I named off those five people, they really need a miracle. You know, I don't know if y'all need a miracle, but I can tell you this. If you don't need a miracle, if you just need a blessing, be sure what you specifically pray for because God will answer your prayers. And Stephanie, you remember the time I prayed for a miracle. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jeez. But, uh, you know, I blessing. don't. 
I don't know that that was that that your prayer caused that bad thing to happen, but maybe it was the Holy Spirit. You were thinking, I need a financial miracle, which was probably the truth. And but the Holy Spirit prompted you to use the word miracle instead of breakthrough or blessing. Um, that he was prompting you, you know, to, to, uh, to pray that way ahead of time, because, you know, he, he knows what we need before we do. And he helps us in our prayers. And he already had that answer on its way. Yeah. I didn't even have to pray for a miracle. I needed a blessing and it was already in motion, but God gives us absolutely gives us what we pray for if we believe it and if it lines up with the word and you know it's right. not gonna harm somebody or nothing but right. he supplies our needs according to his riches and glory that's big that's big right big and big. and he's got a lot of them don't he yeah that's right amen amen that's there's right. wanda and judy and there's angie on here and we've got a lot of people watching yeah. we we uh, love all you guys yes. yes but it's it's just a a blessing to uh to know this has comforted me more than anything in my life romans eight twenty eight. all things everything if i skin my knee or i have a flat tire all things are going to work together for good to those that love God and are called according to his purpose. Everything, everything. Yeah. Oh, you're behind on this, you're that, you, you're sick in your body. Everything's going to work out for you good, yeah. no matter what it is. Yeah. We can count on the Lord and his word because his word is true and it's just. And he is a loving God. And he says that whatever the enemy meant for bad, he will turn it around and and use it for good and we are we overcome by the word of our testimony yeah and the blood of the lamb that's right that's that's true and and you know the in the um i have to look and see where it's at i think it's in psalms but it says he maybe in proverbs he withholds no good thing from those who walk uprightly and even if we have made mistakes, even if we have um, been involved in something, our righteousness comes from the blood of Jesus. So if we've got sin in our life and we're praying for good things, we get it under the blood. We repent, wow. get it under the blood. And that's, that is, um, and then we turn away from that. Of course, that's, walking uprightly and he doesn't he's god is not holding back on us he's not holding healing back he's not holding any of that back and if we don't receive it we might be missing something you know what i'm saying like we might be the we might be us not understanding exactly right or or maybe there's something else, you know, he's got, he's having us, um, walk according, walk a certain thing out. So, but I found, I found that verse, um, it's in Zephaniah three seventeen. It says, the Lord, your God is in the midst of you, a mighty one, a savior who saves he will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in silent satisfaction. This is the amplified version. It's it just brings it out a little bit more. And in his love, he will be he will be silent and make no mention of past sins or even recall them. He will exult over you with singing. And I love that that God doesn't. We get our we get it under the blood, and he doesn't bring stuff up you know like we would do with each other we would be like oh yeah i remember that time blah 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 god doesn't yeah. i mean he doesn't he doesn't amen to that <laughs> i don't know who sent me a friend request another one or not a friend request but a request to join 
I don't know if it was Corey or who, but if you'll send it back again, you can get on here with Steph and myself. We'd be glad to have you and, and hear your opinion. Uh, Sherry Motes is on here, Pam Ayers, and uh, there's a lot of people that, that need to hear this. God loves you. Yes, God he loves you. He wants to take care of you. He wants you to serve him, and he wants to be your God because there's only one God, um, and that, that is our Lord. That is the Lord Lord God Almighty, Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh. And there's so many names. Uh, I, I had a, I don't know if it was a, a chart one time or whatever, but it was the names of Jesus. I still have that somewhere. But there's one with all the names of God, and it is so neat to see all the names of God. It yeah. is so wonderful. Yeah, it was a poster, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> poster. Uh, it was a poster, <laughs> yeah. I remember that. Yeah, and, um, and too, I mean, whoever, if anybody's listening and you think, man, I, my life is just so messed up and I don't know what to do or I don't know how to fix it or it would take a miracle uh, to get me back on track. Just know that God loves you and he is just a prayer. I mean, just a prayer of repentance, just asking him to forgive you and to help you turn away from um, anything that you know is not right or that you know is not his best for you even. Um, I mean, he loves you and he's for you and not against you and he wants good things for you. He thinks good thoughts towards you. Um, I mean, you mean so much to him. He sent Jesus to to die. He, the, the most precious thing that he had was Jesus, his son. And um, he sent Jesus knowing what he would have to go through, not just to die, but to take that horrible beating to take those stripes, to be pierced, and um, to take that chastisement for our peace, um, those stripes for our healing. Um, I mean, you name it, he took it for us, and yes, he, he loves you, and, and he desires a relationship with you. Amen. Um. Stephanie, I'd like for you to maybe lead a prayer and whoever has got problems, if you know, if you're up against it, uh, you don't know which way to turn. Uh, there's people out there that will hear this one day that won't really know what, what to do. They're in a, a situation to where we, only God understands where they're at and we don't. But we know the answer is God. If you would just uh, just lead people to the Lord, you know, just tell them He's the answer. Sure, Father, we just come to you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that your word works. We thank you, Father, that um, you have made a provision for every single need that we have. And God, our greatest need is the need for a Savior and the need for forgiveness. And Father, we just call upon your name. Um, we just call upon the name of Jesus. You said that whoever calls on the name of Jesus shall be saved, calling on him and making him Lord of their life, Father. Um, Lord, so uh, whoever's watching, I just... Um, we just pray this prayer together, Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, we ask your forgiveness for every wrong thing that we have done. We turn away from those things and renounce those things and any ties to them, and we just turn to Jesus. We believe that he is the Son of God, that he um, lived a perfect life, that he died on a cross and took an ugly beating for our, for our peace and for our healing, um, that he uh, did a finished work on the cross that um, made a way for us to be in heaven with you. 
And on three, uh, in three days later, he rose again. And Jesus, um, we just accept you into our hearts and lives. Um, we make you Lord of our life. We live for you. We love you. We thank you that we are forgiven, that we are on our way to heaven, that we have the joy of the Lord, that we know that we are saved because we've done this according to your word. We've obeyed your word and we know your word works. And Father, for those that are facing sickness in their body, I take the authority that Jesus has given me and I command that sickness to be gone in the name of Jesus and whoever is watching, just place your hand wherever um, that sickness is or whatever is going on and just command it to leave. We command that to leave in the name of Jesus and take our authority and command healing to manifest right now in the name of Jesus. And, and Father, for any financial needs, any um, any needs that uh, that we look at, Father, and we think how in the world can those be met Lord, we call that provision forth in the name of Jesus. We command um, financial provision to come forth. Father, we command, um, we call our brothers and sisters back to the house of God, the ones that have uh, fallen away or turned away from you or backslidden. Lord, we call them back to the house of God. Lord, we just... Um, we just speak restoration and healing over relationships tonight. God, we just invite your Holy Spirit in and just declare a healing in those relationships, Father. We declare that the truth be spoken in love and that hearts would be receptive and be willing to forgive, Father, and be willing to receive your forgiveness and your love. And Father, we just speak um to every person that would just, um, Lord, just need a touch from you, just need revival. We just declare, Lord, that revival's coming in their hearts and lives. And Lord, your word says that if we draw near to you, that you'll draw near to us. So we speak that in the name of Jesus and we do it. And we know that you are a rewarder of those who seek you. That if we diligently seek you, God, you reward us for it. And and Father, what greater, no greater reward than to get to experience your presence and to see you working in our in our hearts and in our lives and in the relationships around us, God. We just declare your word, Father, over every person watching, over every situation. We declare the word of God in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 That is wonderful, Father. Thank you so much. Bless Stephanie for being with us. Take care of uh, all the ones that we brought before you, Lord. And for Brother Harwood and Kaylee and Tracy's traveling and Missy and different ones, Lord, we just thank you that you're going to use their life to glorify your name, Father God. And we give you all the honor and glory in Jesus' name, Lord. Amen. 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 That was awesome. That was awesome. And everybody's saying amen on here. Oh, wow. God's um, good. You have an open invitation, Stephanie. Anytime you want to do this, you, you're welcome to uh, study up, join us once a month or whatever. Uh, we'll be fine. We okay. would love to have you everywhere. That's we know you're not going to do that. Well, that sounds good. I'll look forward to being back pretty soon then. All right. We love y'all. And Stephanie, I love you. Love you guys. Love you too. Stephanie's Mom. my daughter. One of my daughters. So uh, she's <laughs> my second. Baby. She was my birthday. Or no, my she was my Christmas baby. She was born on Christmas Eve. Yeah. Hey, we love you, Nikki. All right, y'all. Until next week. And love you too, Angie. Angie, I love you too. And Stephanie does too. She loves us both. We will see you guys next week. God bless you. And remember, he is only a prayer away. You don't yeah. have to go hunting, Jesus. He's right there. That's right. All you have to do is come to him with a, a humble heart, with a complete humble heart. 
and therein can be found. Yeah. All right. Good night, God. Love you. God good bless night. you all. Love you, honey. Thank Love you. Love you, too.